Okay, basically same thing, thread lock on every single part here. Now with the washout base, you can actually get this the wrong way around and try to mount it in in this fashion. Okay. Now that's the wrong way around. The long section should be going down. All right, so it has to be pointing downwards. So of course you end up with that, which means you have to flip these around the other way. Like so. Alright, gotta put some Loctite on these as well. Now right here, I was looking for a washer but there is no washer. But you can see that that's a raised edge. Right in there. So again, I'm going to put Loctite in there and make sure I don't get any Loctite on the outside. So I'm going to grab my trusty little Allen key again. Get a bit of Loctite on the Allen key. And carefully put it in the hole. And then screwing it in. Nice and tight. Okay, it's one side. Do the other side. Excellent. Okay, so they're done. That's ready to go. Now, out of bag 500HZ2, you need to get two linkages at a 34mm in length. And fit a couple of uh, linkages to it from the same bag. Okay, so the inside measurement in here is, is 24. The rod, as we know, is 34. And because they're at an angle, so they're 90 degrees from each other, um, the outside measurement, I've got it as being 60. So again, I, I measure against both of them, make sure they're they line up, I look at them, I check them for height, make sure they're exactly the same. All right, starting off at the exact same length is always a good thing to do. All right. Now, as you can see, the letter A's are there. And as you follow those rods up, You'll see the letter A is on that side. Now again we need to fit the ball links to the inside. As you can tell I like going excessive with the ball links and the um, Loctite or the thread lock. I just prefer it that way. Now, of course, we've got to do the two bolts that go into to this here. Uh, in the past, they used to have a bolt just going into um, the plastic end on the other side. Now they've got two bolts basically in there. Now this won't flop around as much as you know you'd want it to, as you can see there. 
As long as you get it close to that again, it's all good. So I just got to sit there and do a bit of thread locking on that now. This one's going to be a bit tricky. They're up very tight, very tight. So just repeat the same for the other side. Okay, so now we're basically going to put the main shaft on. So you just pass the top end, and you know, put the bottom end in, pass the top end in, line up the, uh, the hole, and Put the uh, bolt through, the Jesus bolt. For those who don't know why it's called the Jesus bolt, it's because pilots have been known to say Jesus when the bolt snaps. Okay, once we've got that in place, then slide the washout base up, and of course I'll put it in the wrong way. Okay, you got to make sure you've got your arms in the right position. Wash plate up. Okay. Should have done this. That's okay. Okay, with the letter A facing outwards, you then need to put this one on here. And then up to the top here. side so the seesaw into the washout control arms and there we have it So that concludes page 6.